Hello awesome people, welcome to a new game on the channel which is called Slime Rancher. Now this game has released a couple of years ago, uh, I've played it a little bit at that point, I um, actually got pretty hooked on it because it's pretty fun to play and it's pretty colorful and just like a really happy happy game to play which is pretty darn fun. Now what do you have to do? Well I'm gonna show you guys. So these little guys are called slimes, we're gonna collect them with our, whoops, where, where did he go? We're gonna collect them with our vacuum sort of gun and uh, we can shoot him right in here and now he's our prisoner. <laughs> no, we're basically farming these slimes. Uh, if we feed them, they will uh, poop out plorts and those plorts are worth money. Uh, and basically it's a, it's a fun collection game and exploration game. Uh, and we have four slots in our vacuum so we can uh, basically uh, suck up a lot of things um, around here. And uh, let's see, let's see what we can do. Uh, I think this is one of our trial games, uh, like Maneater. Uh, now for the people that are watching this and you know watched a few videos on Maneater on the channel and thinking, wait, are we not gonna play Maneater? Um, I'm thinking that that game is more suited for a, um, a live stream, um, which we will probably do in the future. Now, if you don't wanna miss out on that, then make sure to follow me on Twitch. You can find the link uh, in the description or go to the channel. If it's not if it's not in the description, go to the channel. On the right top, there are some links and there's also a Twitch link. Uh, you can follow me over there because I'm gonna try out more streaming uh, in the future and I wish to go stream on Twitch. Um, the last live stream um, on YouTube went well, but I wanna try out Twitch too uh, as it seems to be a little bit more streamer friendly. Now, what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna basically explore the world and uh, we need to... Uh, find a lot of these uh, that that's probably more than enough I'm gonna get, get some of these carrots to feed them um, and let's move back and let's just basically show you a bit about the uh, about the, the basic things about the game and uh, then we can see if we actually want to play more of it so we have four of them in here I'm guessing we have a star meal um, I'm guessing we're gonna have like ten so one two three four five six seven oh wait I can't count so this should be ten and uh, I'm Terribly sorry for the rest of them, but I'm gonna shoot you right over here into the sea so that you don't bother me. Um, if they get into our farming zone, they might eat our food. That's why I'm doing that. Um, so we're not gonna feed them. Uh, we can fin we can feed them uh, carrots or whatever, but they all have an uh, whoops. They all have a diet. Now this is where we can sell our plorts. Now if you can see, uh, we get eight sort of yeah money eight money let's just call it money uh eight money for the pink plort which is just a basic plort but as you can see there are also a lot of uh, a few other unlocks uh which we can collect from other uh slimes now there's also a golden one which you have to be very lucky to find um and what's this can't remember this what, what was this press e to activate uh oh this is just a tutorial okay we don't really need that i will explain things now let's read our star mill so what did we get uh, Rise and Shine, hi Bia, that's us. Uh, what it's like to sleep for... Okay, this is just basically story stuff. If you would like to read that, then you can pause the video and uh, take a look at it. But let's now show what will happen. So if we feed this guy a carrot, he will eat it, he will be happy, and then poop out a plort. Now, if we just feed a lot of these guys... Um, I do believe they also eat chicken. Uh, so we can make a chicken farm and then feed them chicken. Let's just get all the plorts here so that we can get some money. Uh, let's get you and then shoot you two back. And let's just get some early money. Um, hopefully so that I can show you guys how to improve our farm. So this is what we're going to do. We have this little button over here. We can press E to activate and then we can buy all these different items. Uh, we can also build new corrals. So basically have our, our own ranch to build up, which is pretty fun and get, gets pretty addictive quite soon um, because you can collect all of these guys you can mix them out you can make sort of double uh slimes with like blue pink uh slimes which will yeah you know they, they will be kind of special um so what we want here is we have 330 gold what do we want first so high walls would be nice because we have some slimes early game that would jump over the walls if we make don't, don't make them higher um and this is basically just our, our starting area so an air net uh not really need right now solar shield is basically only for plorts that uh for slimes that only live at night which we will see at some point plort collector would be nice and auto feeder would also be very nice in this first one um so we don't have any money to actually do anything here uh how much is a new corral so we could build a new corral if you wanted to we could also go for a garden a coop a silo 
uh, or incinerator to uh, to burn slimes or any other things or a pond uh, which is needed for some special water slimes now i think a good start would be to make like a little uh coop over here where we can keep our chickens so we have these two chickadoos these two these two little yeah little chickadoos they will grow up at some point um let's put them in there and let's uh let's go and explore the world shall we so this is just the first little zone this is basically uh, a zone where no slimes will spawn unless you uh basically shoot them in there yourself uh, we don't need these orange ones anymore but we're we are going to collect food because we want to feed them of course uh and make sure that when we feed them they will eat and we will get plorts can we get these yes we can awesome can we get some more uh, yeah so we have the new fruits uh now you have also also to keep in mind that not all of these uh let's get more chicks i guess you ate that one so thank you give me your plort um but you also have to keep in mind that all these different slimes have different diets and you have to keep in mind that if you feed them the right diet they will actually give you two plorts instead of one which is amazing uh, because it's all about your economy of course uh let's see what is over here so we have oh we have a huge slime over there um if we feed them enough they will give us bonus things like keys and stuff to unlock new areas um for now we're just gonna keep it right over here so those guys we have blue uh slimes over here and these bigger ones those are pink or blue slimes who ate a plort of the other color and then changed into a sort of a dual slime so i'm gonna as you can see they they, they just changed um, I will show this, hopefully. So that blue port will be eaten by one of the pink ones. I'm hoping. Would you come around and eat that? And then, yeah. And then they will change in, in, into that. So our goal is to make... Uh, well, the goal is I have is to make a few of those. So that we can have double the plorts. Uh, and also to make our... Yeah, well, our, our slimes basically more susceptible for more types of food, so we can easily uh, more easily feed them. Okay, this is also cool. We can just throw this and see what it, what's in there. Okay, it's just basic carrots, which is fine. I think we can get some uh, some more chickadoos right here. We could also go for the grown chickens. Um, but for now, the chickadoos will do fine. We're not gonna feed them to the porch yet. So, uh, and as you can see, if I have my slots filled and I try to suck up like a, a, a new thing, it won't let me. So I have to always keep in mind that I only have four slots um, and that I need to use them carefully whilst exploring because you can't bring everything back. Now what we could do is just shoot out some of the fruits for instance, which you don't need. Um, and then, you know, uh, make sure to take some finels basically with us. And our poker fruit slot, our number two slot is now filled to 20. That's the max we have right now. We need to upgrade stuff. What's this? Oh yeah, this is a kind of a teleporter, but it's not unlocked yet. We have to do a lot of things to actually unlock that. Now, we are pretty full. Let's actually move. And that actually did some damage because they those blue uh, rock thingies, they, the rock slimes, they will actually attack you uh, sometimes. And uh, could you move? Thank you. So we have uh, more, more than enough carrots now. Let's move back and let's try to start up a, uh, a nice little farm in this first episode to see. Now the blue bar uh, with the little uh, arrow, little sort of lightning thingy, uh, that's your stamina. Uh, so you have stamina, but if you sprint, you see that it goes down. If you jump, uh, later on you get a sort of a jetpack, it will go down. Uh, but that's all stuff that we need to unlock. Okay, we have, okay, if we go fast enough, we oops. I just shot a chickadoo into the wall, basically. Uh, into the pole uh, So let's get a, a, a hen hen, which is basically just a, a mother mother hen And we will definitely shoot her in with these guys boom. There we go uh, Pink ports. We will just uh, make sure that we shoot them in here so that we can get some money And there we go We have a little bit of money collected and now we need to make sure to get enough money so that we can make this one this first corral uh, upgrade a little bit, bit so that we can get the the double slimes basically i can't remember how they are called what they're called um and we have a lot of plorts here but we also have new stuff to explore we have uh an area over there which we need to buy with money to open up a uh, same thing over there and uh, we will get different areas where we can build stuff and uh do more stuff we can also start research on these uh, slimes uh, in due time but for now we're just gonna explore the world and try to find as many things that we think are useful. 
Um, so let's just get these plorts. Uh, plorts are money for now, uh, oh, even though the pink plorts are very simple plorts. Uh, so what is over here? Let's check this area out. Let's see. Oh, we have some... Uh, ooh, okay, these are the ones that only survive at night. So there's no real need for us to, to keep the... Oops. To keep them right now. Um, because we don't have a, a corral for them where they don't die. Because they will die if, if they come to daylight. These guys are hunter slimes. Or te oh, sorry, tabby slimes. They will eat meat. And only meat. So what we could do... Is we... Where, where are you? There you are. We could uh, just put these guys in, feed them some of our pink plorts and make them um, basically omnivores because they will change in meteors and the pink ones just eat everything, I think. Um, and if we don't feed them, we will get the gray, uh, the, the gray plorts and the pink plorts. So we get more money. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so what we will do over here, we will basically regain some stamina. We can also sleep until the next day if we wanted to. Uh, let's shoot these few in there so we have some room. Um, because if we're gonna put five of them in here, I need I don't need all of these anymore. So what I will do is this, and I will shoot these guys away again. And there we go. And we will put the new ones right in here. Now they might they jump a little bit high and they get a little bit aggressive if they get um, hungry. So what we could do, hopefully fast, is do these high walls to make sure that they don't jump out as you can see they're jumping a little bit higher they might actually get out at some point so what we could do is feed these guys something and hopefully i can show you what i mean so we have this one over here uh if we take this we can just shoot it into him and he will eat it and he will change into that as you can see but these guys also jump higher they are bigger so they can actually jump on each other as you can see and then jump out that's the problem. And we can't suck these up. Uh, the only thing we can do is this. And keep them... Oh, they're called Largo Slimes. That was it. And keep them sort of at bay like that. But now we definitely need high walls. That's the thing. And um, yeah, that will definitely be, uh, be something to think about. So let's just shoot all these carrots in here. Make sure that they have enough to eat for now. And we will run out. Hopefully get a lot of ports to sell. And get enough money to... Um, in the end, hopefully, uh, you know, get the high walls. Otherwise, they works, will escape. Uh, let's move on. So let's go to the area where the where we found the blue slimes. Because if we can feed them some, uh, we could maybe get some more money for those uh, those little slimes. So what we could do, maybe we could feed you this pogo fruit. Uh, thank you. And then we'll take your tour. So as you can see, they take two slimes. They, they, they eat this. And then they take two. Could you please eat that? Thank you. I don't want to feed the other ones. And I don't want you to attack me. Yeah, that's what I said. Don't, don't Please don't attack me. Um, so you could eat probably something. Thank you. Ouch, that, that hurt. Okay, what's this? Uh, oh, we found a map. So this is the map of the first area, basically. Now, as you can see, there are many more areas to find out. And uh, there are lots of uh, different slimes and adventures to um, to get into. So it's, it's a very fun fun game to, to basically play. So you are also a different guy. You're a, a tabby slime mixed with a pink slime. So you will give us that one. Awesome. So for now, we're just trying to get as... M Did I feed you just yet? I can't remember. Oops, I missed. Okay, you are now dead. Well, goodbye. Um, so we're just trying to get enough uh, of a um, of a bank basically to buy these high walls. You are probably already full. Yeah. Here you go. Eat that. No, not you. I, I want the blue ones to eat or the big ones to eat. Okay, you, you are fine. Because they basically give me the most money back for eating my fruits. Okay, you're already full. They have a big smile on their head, so they're already full. Now, we have to be careful because all the other ones will jump on these plorts like crazy because they want to eat. Can you eat? Yeah, you can eat. Ouch, ouch. You guys are hurting me. Okay, let, let's move out here because it gets a little bit hairy. Uh, let's move out, move out and uh, we will slowly regenerate our health once we're out of combat. Now, there are also some bad slimes to be found, uh, mostly at night, but at the beginning, we will not really see them that much. 
Um, it's it's like I said, it's it's just a happy you know addictive game to just do some things. Uh, that's not on yet. Okay, well they're flying. Hello, could you come back? Thank you. Could you please come back? Thank you. Let's uh, shoot you back in, and the same goes for you. Let's get you back in, and you. Where are you? Where are you? I can't. I can't pick you up. Okay, that's annoying. Um, let's let's try to get enough boards to go away. Go away. To hopefully get enough money. Okay, we need to fix this problem. <laughs> I was a bit too fast with uh, loading market prices. Okay, well, that's not fine. That's not nice. Could you please not do that? Okay, so if you over exaggerate the market with a certain plort, um, you will see that the price goes down. So we paid a lot of pink plorts. Now it's only six instead of eight. These go up because they are more rare, basically. Uh, but now we have enough for high walls, which should at least keep them at bay a little bit better. And we can shoot these guys back in. And uh, you should go there. And eat that pink floor, please. Yeah, okay. So they're still able to, if they jump on each other, they are still able to get out. So we also need uh, the basically the net that, that keeps them in. So it's the air net. So we need another 425. So we need to have one more round of collecting a lot of this, uh, these things. So let's just shoot this at you guys. Um, same thing goes for this one. We can just shoot you there. We don't need the carrots um, for now. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's actually go to sleep and see how, uh, how it looks in the morning. So sleep until morning and let's get out here. And boom, here we are. Did you guys make any more plorts? Yes, you, you did. You're actually making plorts right now by eating. Awesome. Now this will get a little bit easier once we have some other stuff installed on this corral, like automatic uh, port collectors and automatic feeders, then we don't have to worry about that. We can set different times for them to feed, which is amazing. Um, well, basically not the times, but we can set how often they should get food, um, which is fine, which is very cool. And uh, we can then basically get a sort of a schedule up and make a lot of money to uh, basically make our, make, make our range bigger. Uh, and that's what we're trying to do here. So I'm trying to get the the, the netting right now, uh, which would be amazing if we could get that. What's in here? Hopefully some money. We have money and we have chickens and we have a heartbeat. So we have something new. We found something new and we have some found some stony hens, which is uh, other types of hens, basically. So let's get some more of these. Uh, I don't need the heartbeat, actually. No, I don't need that one, too. I want the chickadoos. Go away. I want the chickadoos because they can grow up into our uh, chickens and then we can feed them all over the place. So for now we are full, so we should go back and fast, fastly just deposit these these chickens and hens um, because they will actually if if we get a rooster, if we get a male uh, a male chicken rooster, uh, we can put them in and they will actually make babies and then we just have a, a true chicken farm basically. So let's shoot you guys in here and that will get, we, we have a rooster. So one of the uh, chickadoos grew up into a rooster. So they will make their own, uh, we don't have any eggs right now, but they will make their own. We don't really have to worry about that um, for now. So let's move back into the world and get more money so we can uh, upgrade our corral and make sure that it actually is um, a thing that we can actually use for, uh, for making money, making enough money to actually do some stuff at least so let's just scour the area for plorts even though it's pink it doesn't really matter we will go to this area again and feed some of the bigger ones hopefully get some more blue and uh gray plorts so if we feed you for instance we, we get two which is amazing give that to me thank you and if we feed it to you you should give us two now the largo slimes they will not eat the other plorts because they don't have to they already sort of transformed Shit, shit, shit. No, don't take it. I want to give it to you. Yeah, thanks. Amazing. Let's just shoot you over there. We could actually get rid of them uh, once we fed them. So just to keep track of which ones we fed and which ones we didn't. Go away. I want the ports. Before they get eaten by uh, 
by someone else. Ouch, ouch. Don't, don't. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, let's, uh, let's take some more chickadoos. I think I shoot a fruit there, which it was not meant to do. Okay, we can't take the chickadoos, of course, because they're full. Let's pick up some more of these plorts. There's another plort over there. And uh, more plorts, awesome. Are there any more? Yeah, there are a few up there. Can we jump this? Yeah, oh, oh we can actually do that. I actually did not notice. Did not know that. Even though I played this in the uh, in the past, we have 20 plink plorts, so we're basically full on those. Um, I think it's probably a good time to head back again. Or we could also just use up our pogo fruits. Do you do you guys eat pogo fruits actually? Can we find that out? So if we go to Slimepedia, slimes, um, we have it's the blue slime. So oh, we have to oh we have to suck them up before we can actually get the info. Okay, well not gonna do that. Not gonna shoot all my um, my earnings basically away to just pick up one slime. We will do that later on. I can't remember what type of diet they have. I think they also eat fruit, but I'm not entirely sure. So, let's move back and, uh, and see what we can do here. So, pink ports. Let's just sell all of these and hopefully get enough money to, uh, to get our air net or whatever it was called. Get rid of all these ports. And there we go. And now we do have enough money to get the air net, which is amazing. So purchase that. So they basically what the air net does is they can touch it once or twice. Um, and then they will just bounce back. And after that, the air net needs to basically re yeah, refill its stamina or whatever you want to call it. And um, they are still able to break out. But I think that with 10 of these, we're still Gucci. We're, we don't have to worry that much about it. So we'll, we will feed them so they don't get cranky. If they get cranky, they might try to jump out or they might, you know, if they're um, a species that will attack or something, they, you have some that will explode. You have some that will, like the uh, blue ones that will actually roll at you and try to hurt you, um, which is also not good, of course. You don't want that because you can actually die in this game. If you die, it doesn't really matter um, because you just will respawn. Uh, I, I'm not even sure if you actually... Yeah, you, you lose the things that you had in your inventory. But that's not the biggest problem, to be honest. In most cases, at least. So let's get some uh, some more plorts. And I think we should get one more... What, what can we do here? What, what would be our goal right now? Music box makes them uh, more relaxed, which we could do. But it's not really needed for these type of uh, slimes. Uh, solar shield is not needed for them. Plort collector... On auto feeder Th those two the plort collector would be very nice just basically you push a button and it will collect all the plorts um, in the area and I think it will do that automatically in every two minutes or something like that so if you're out exploring it will still do that and the auto feeder is also very handy for basically every corral so we basically need 500 more so let's do one more trip um, and yeah I totally forgot to tell you guys uh, because it's a testing game basically uh, we're gonna test Basically, if we want to, if you want to see more uh, of this game in the future, we can't collect these. Um, then make sure to leave the uh, to leave a comment to smash the like button uh, if you would like to see more, because that's how I know that you guys want to see more, um, and I will bring more of the game to the channel, of, of course, uh, because I I like this game, I really enjoy playing it, and uh, I think it's we're gonna we could have a blast playing it and exploring it. Um, could we not? We have a star mill. I'm actually gonna pick up one of these blue ones to just unlock them and see what type of diet they have. So I'm gonna just shoot it out because I don't really care. And now I'm gonna go look at the Slimepedia. Slimes, where is the blue slime? We still don't have it. Wait, what? Oh, we have to wait. Okay, yeah. If we now could, we now could go to the Slimepedia. Now we have unlocked it. It eats veggies. Okay, and its favorite is heartbeat. So if we give it this, it will plop out two plorts. Which means that if we mix it with a Largo slime, like these, and then give it a heartbeat, uh, then it will give us four, which is amazing. Let's actually collect some of these chickadoos. Chew, please be, yeah, thank you. Um, whilst we're at it, I don't need a pink slime, go away. I think there are a few more up here. Because this is basically going to be our uh, initial start. If we do this right, we will have a farm that can actually make money on its own. Um, and we don't have to really worry about We can basically grow exponentially um, with what we do. 
Now, I do notice that we have a little bit of a problem here with finding more plorts at this point um, in the outside world. So, okay, never mind, I didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> these are a lot of, even though it's pink plorts, it's still like six per, per plort, so it's totally fine. It's still uh, a decent, decent haul. Uh, these we don't really need, we already have them. And my goal is to just get uh, a corral with at least one of every species. It, even if they're mixed, it doesn't really matter. If they're mixed, that's also totally fine. Let's get these ports before they get eaten by some of the other ones. Let's shoot these guys away. We don't really need them. Uh, we're at 18 ports. Uh, let's get these carrots so we can feed our, our friends back at home. And let's move back. I think we have a decent haul here. There wasn't much to be had otherwise. So do we see anything? Okay, we have some more carrots, which we could farm over here. Uh, we can also make a garden and start planting these. Uh, and just over time, we will, we will gain them automatically, basically, by harvesting them. Uh, which we are definitely going to do if we're going to keep playing this game. Uh, because that is going to be amazing for us. What's that little H thingy here? What does that do? Uh, okay, more story and and stuff on the region, I guess. Okay, if you want to read that, make sure to pause the uh, video. I'm not going to read it all because not everyone likes it. I have read those a little, you know, long time ago, <laughs> but um, not anymore. I'm not going to bother with uh, reading them right now, especially since we're testing. So I need to do, uh, it's a bit hasty maybe, but I want to do as much as we can so I can show you the game as much as we can. And then hopefully um, we can make a good decision on whether we want to play more of it or not. So let's give them some more food in here. Let's get the plorts. Don't need the carrot. Thank you. Don't need the carrots. Thank you. Oops, I'm stuck. You actually can get the, uh, the things if you're sort of standing in the wall. So you don't really, you actually can even get them if you're not even standing in the wall but a little bit outside so you don't really have to go in the corral which is quite handy because at some point you actually don't want to go in some corrals because you have some exploding guys like i said you have some radiated slimes which uh, is the, the green one um those are radiated so they will make you sick and lose health but we have enough now to get an auto feeder in but let's first do a let's actually do the port collector first so what this does is uh, so as you can see, there are some plorts in there. And uh, if we now click this button, it will collect all the plorts that are in there. And we can take them out like this and like that. And we can also put them back in if we wanted to. Oops. If I uh, not... Wait, oh, I thought we could do that. Okay, apparently not. We can't... Okay, we can't put them in. <laughs> um, but that's basically a way easier and a way safer way of doing that. Now, for this corral, we only need a... Uh, a a feeding uh what was it a, an auto feeder and then we can just basically shoot carrots into that or whatever we want to feed them and make sure that we give them uh, a certain amount of that every day and they will uh be happy and then we're moving moving on to more uh corrals more different stuff like gardens uh, but yeah guys if you like the game if you want to see more of it make sure to click that like button make sure to leave a comment uh if you have any suggestions also leave a comment if you want to join the twitch for the future live streams then like i said the link is down in the description or and if it's not there if i forget to put it in there then it's on the channel uh on the top right if you go to my channel uh you will find it there or just go to twitch and type in hippo and you should be able to find me too and uh, recognize the logo uh and yeah as always i've been hippo you've been yourself thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching Thank you.